just wanted to have a little catch up on the floor where I kind of talk about myself instead of the books I read or the movies or whatever I did this month. Um, yeah, just right now in the present, I'm not doing too hot and I wanted to just talk about it. So for some reason the other day, I, and by the other day, I mean last night, I watched one of my old videos and it was like five in the morning. Don't ask why. Uh, I just felt really weird about it because I felt super detached from me from seven months ago. And I got to thinking and I was like, damn, a lot has changed in the last six months. Like, I feel like I've gone through so many different chapters in my life, uh, different friend groups, different relationships, like eras of my life ending graduating college and then the ensuing identity crises that that brought about and the more I thought about it the more I'm like I don't think I'm doing that great and I haven't really stopped to think about it at all because I've been reading constantly I think I'm at 40 something books this year for context that's more than I read like all of 2022 I need to put the brakes on and kind of just think through why it is that I'm trying to escape through books right now um yeah all that to say that i want to kind of change my reading habits a little bit i think that the pattern of finishing a book and immediately looking at what to read next is not the best for me right now because i have way too many books at my disposal and so it's really easy to just constantly be reading something and not thinking for myself i want to just stop for a second and work through emotionally process something because in the last like three months something has shifted i don't know what it is but anything that makes me have an emotion just breaks me anyways that's a red flag and um there's a lot of little details like that that have been bubbling up and making me kind of worried um so yeah i want to kind of just take a step back from the endless media consumption and emotionally process some stuff that's been going on. Just, I feel really stressed out, don't know what I should be doing, don't know what I want to do, and feel a lot of pressure to figure it out immediately, even though I know that's self-imposed. I'm just not dealing with the pressure very well, and I don't think that escaping into books is the right thing to do right now, so I want to do less of it. I don't want to stop reading, that's not what I'm saying, but uh, 25 books in a month is a little excessive for where I'm at right now. So a way I can think of to immediately improve my reading habits is just to do more buddy reads, which is just reading a book with a friend and discussing it. I've made so many cool book friends since starting this channel, and I feel like I'm not implementing that enough into my life. On top of that, I have just been kind of thinking about the way I'm reading. Originally, I set a reading goal for the year. I'm rescinding it. I don't care anymore. I just want to feel better than I do now. And I think that reading less and interacting with more friends seems like a really good way to get back on track. So this is just kind of an open invitation to buddy read. If we're mutuals and you want to, let me know. Uh, it probably won't be for a while, to be honest. I want to do maybe like two or three a month. I'll feel it out. But this is something that I just want to do for the foreseeable future, for maybe like the rest of the year, for a couple months. I don't know how long, but yeah, if you want to do one, let me know. And then once I feel ready to read something, I will reach out. Yeah, fair warning, it might not be for a minute. One more thing. I want to change my reading habits, but I also want to change my video habits. I'm kind of over the monthly wrap-up template, not really loving it so much. I don't like having that many things to talk about in one video. They're also just like daunting to edit and reviewing that many things at once. I don't know. I just want to find a better way to kind of talk through things as I experience them instead of waiting until the end of the month and then being like info dump, hour long video. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and do more like short term, just like immediate things going on. Although I'm so shitty at being consistent video wise. So I know that's not going to happen, but Wishful thinking, I'm just gonna speak that into existence. The main thing that I do think I will try and implement is just talking about how I'm doing because watching my videos last night, I realized I never talk about myself. And I think that's something that's also worth 
documenting on top of the books that I read. Yeah, I will try and just include some more personal aspects, although it's something I'm hesitant to do. This channel started out as kind of just like a record keeping vlog of like the books I read and the movies I watched and like what I thought of blank. And now that there's an audience, I kind of am scared to talk about myself just because there's so many eyes and it's also like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just anxious about it. And um, sometimes I get weirded out that there's this many people listening to me talk in my bedroom. Anyways, that's like the mental spring cleaning that I've been thinking about wanting to do. On top of that, there is some literal spring cleaning that I still want to do. Off camera, I just cleaned up my closet and got rid of so many clothes, like so many, and I feel reborn. Hence this video where I'm like, I'm changing everything. I'm a different person now. Cause I, yep, I'm a different person now. Marie Kondo was right. I'm, that's, that's not, I'm not me from two days ago. So the next thing that I wanna do while I have this sort of ball of motivation rolling is to clean up my shelves. It's kind of like beautiful outside or something. Shut up. Girl. Okay, so instead of doing my bookshelves, I saw that my favorite record store had posted that they had this Marvin Gaye vinyl, so went and got it. They also had, from Roll Please, this King Crew record, so happy to have both. They actually ordered the second one in for me, but I wasn't there that weekend because I had to go to Mexico and so I assumed that it had just sold throughout the week but still there wasn't surprised yeah I made it with like 10 minutes to spare in terms of them closing but um yeah I'm pretty pretty stoked on both of these thumbs up now I just need to go get something to eat and then I will go home and decompose it's 6 p.m. and I haven't eaten all day so I feel not good but hopefully I feel better tonight. It's in the middle of the fucking wilderness, so I'll probably scavenge forage for some food. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, there's no way that I'm talking about all of these. What I do have in mind is to take some of these that are down here to put them up there and take some of these from up here and put them down here. Originally, I did have like an organization system like this, for example, where I would make a pile of books and be like, I want to get to these immediately. And then I would just have them in a pile somewhere. So I would have all these little piles and they all used to mean something. And now I forgot what they meant. So I just have a remnants of my attention span, basically. So I want to have it represent right now. So I'm gonna take maybe, I don't know. So after some deliberation, I've decided to take everything off of the shelves and put them into a, yes, I would read this in the next three to six months, or no, I wanna backlist it for way later on. And maybe that'll just solve everything, hopefully. What I also recognized is that I have a lot of the same author. Like for example, I have like a bunch of Kurt Vonnegut's. I know I have a lot of Virginia Woolf. I have a lot of Moshfeg. I have a lot of Joan Didion. So just going through like authors and then picking one that I would want to read first, I think is a good way to thin out the shelves. <laughs> Yo, this was a fucking mistake. Okay, so I already regret doing this to myself, but the only way to fix this is to keep going. Okay, so up first, I guess, is If Beale Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. Doing a buddy read of this with Sophie, or Bibio Sophie. Um, not done with it, I have like 30 pages left. 
I'm also reading My Struggle by Carlo V. Knajgor. Really good. I'm like 300 pages into it. Dense. Uh, I'll save thoughts for when I'm done, I guess. This was a really bad idea to think that I could do this in one sitting. So here's what I came up with. I'm going to organize these and not talk about them. And then later on a different day when they're organized, I will talk about them. I'll do like a book collection video tour shelf guide. I need to fix this and I'll, I'll figure the rest out later. Okay, so while I'm at it, I'm just gonna reorganize my manga shelf too, because at this point, who cares? It's gonna take forever anyways. Okay, so I'm not gonna re-reorganize it. I'm just moving some stuff to the top so it shows up more. I'm kind of over and seeing just this block of homunculus all the time. Uh, and then down there I have, oh shit, I have like monster and stuff. I'll move those up, hold up. Okay, I'll find a better place for it all later, but I have, I have bigger problems right now. and no piles. I do believe that I have just slayed. I will do a separate video, like I said, where I show off the titles, talk about why I do or don't I want to read them immediately. But uh, yeah. Hi. So I never ended the video, so this is just me saying that the video is over now. But one thing I did forget to mention is that I talked recently about starting a book club putting that on pause for a while, I don't know how long, but 
I want to wait till I can just give it more energy and not add something else to like stress myself out with right now. But do want to do it eventually? And I think it's cool that people want to join it. So just an update because I know that some people were interested. Another thing is that some of the math in this video was not mathing. I don't think that books are the sole reason why I'm feeling bad. It was like five in the morning. It's 6 p.m. and I haven't eaten all day. Anyways, I'm gonna try and take better care of myself in general, but I do think that the way I was reading did contribute to why I wasn't doing too hot. So yeah, just gonna try and put less pressure on myself in general. That's all. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Sorry that it was so sincere. I'll try and do less of that going forward, but yeah, bye.